making a huge mistake. Actually, I know I made a huge mistake. See this? I did this. I didn't mean for this to happen. I borrowed my mom's phone and it slipped out of my hand on the floor and broke. Kelly, please bring down my phone. What to do? What to do? I'm waiting. Coming, Mom. What should I do? I think this will be my final vlog for my entire life. Friends, were you ever about to be in the biggest trouble of your life? What will she do? I feel like she will be so disappointed in me. Maybe she will be mad and not talk to me. Oh no. Maybe I'll have to eat double portions of veggies. Here's a comment from Gray. Gray says, maybe you can read something in the Bible to help. Let me Google. God helps people. Oh, look here. It's time for our Bible story. Last week, we left off with Moses being told by God to take his brother, Aaron, and free his people, the Israelites. It might have sounded like a simple thing, but it ended up being very challenging. It was complicated because the people of Israel had become such a huge part of Pharaoh's nation. They had been held captive in Egypt for a very long time, for generations actually. But God was tired of Pharaoh refusing to set the people free. Moses was told to go with one message to Pharaoh, to let my people go. But Pharaoh said no. no. So God decided to send plagues. Plagues were really painful disasters sent to Egypt by God to force the Pharaoh to let God's people go. God knew Pharaoh's heart wasn't changing. He did not want to let God's people go. Pharaoh would see the power of God through the plagues and allow Israel to be free. The first plague was water in Egypt being turned to blood. But Pharaoh would still not let God's people go. The second plague was frogs being sent everywhere, but that didn't work. So a third plague was sent. The third plague was dust turned to gnats. Gnats are tiny bugs that fill the air. The fourth plague were flies. Then the fifth plague were all the horses and all the cows and all the sheep died, but none of it worked. Pharaoh was a stubborn ruler and didn't want to let God's people go. No. With the sixth plague, the people and animals all got boils on their skin. Painful sores covered them. The seventh plague, it rained ice. Hail fell from the sky. The eighth plague, locusts ate up all the plants. Yet, Pharaoh still wouldn't let God's people go. With the ninth plague, everything went dark for three days. Moses went to Pharaoh, let my people go. And do you know what Pharaoh said? He said, no. no. The 10th plague was the worst one. All the oldest sons in Egyptian homes died in their sleep. This plague was devastating. Pharaoh finally changed his mind and decided to let God's people go. The people of Israel were saved that night and were free to go. That's good news for us, friends. I bet God helps us when we are in trouble. I mean, breaking my mom's phone is pretty serious, but maybe God can help me. Maybe God will help my mom see that I'm really sorry and I will be more careful from now on. And I bet God will help me with other things too, like making wise choices and being with me when I'm afraid. I'm so glad God helps everyone. This is a comment from Susan. Once I broke my mom's phone and she was mad, but she told me she loves me anyway. I'm sure your mom will say the same. So be brave. Thanks, friends. You have been so helpful. And don't forget how helpful God is. God helps us when we are in trouble.
Love goes 